Grab your kettlebell and give your entire body a good workout in just 10 minutes, easily at home. In today's kettlebell workout, we do five effective compound exercises for the full body and we do two rounds. We have 50 second work periods and 10 second transitions and only one water break in between the rounds. It's going to be fun and sweaty. Let's have some fun. Let's get straight into it. If you have several kettlebells, you can grab them all and switch if needed. In the first exercise, which is kettlebell swings, I'm gonna go with the heavier kettlebell. Okay, ready? Have a solid stance, wide stance, and you swing the kettlebell between your legs and with your hips. You drive your hips forward, you lift the kettlebell back up. You're not using your arms here. You let the kettlebell swing and your hips are doing the move. You straighten and you hinge your hips. Straighten. 50 seconds of each exercise. It's a quick and intense 10 minutes. Come on. Drive those hips forward. Squeeze with your glutes and quads. Great. Next, you can switch to a lighter kettlebell if needed. We do a curtsy lunge, a halo, and curtsy lunge to the other side. Join me. Take your time. This is working on our glutes, legs, core, arms. Very good compound, compound exercise. Great. Next we do split squats with overhead presses or shoulder presses. I'm gonna go with the lighter one for the first round. Grab it with your left arm, right leg to the front, left leg to the back, split squat and press. Split squat and press. Okay. Squat and press. Squat and press. Come on, it's only 10 minutes. We are making the most out of it. Keeping our body moving. Keep going. Come on. Few more. And last one. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Other side. Ready. Kettlebell to your right arm. Right leg to the back, left is in the front. Split squat and press. Split squat and press. Keep your body moving. After this we have one exercise and then a water break. Come on, you can do this. Last one. Awesome. Next you might want to continue with the lighter kettlebell or grab it now if you already haven't. Go into a sumo squat. You hold it here and you do circles. Come on. 
you stay low. Working on the full body here. Arms, core, legs. Come on. Keep going. And last one, yes, grab some water and then we have another round, then we're done. Feeling the heat, definitely. All right, so first the kettlebell swings. Ready, let's go. Swing it behind your legs, or oh no, between your legs. Hinge your hips back and drive your hips forward. Let the kettlebell swing all the way to the front. Squeeze with your glutes, squeeze with your quads. Quick and effective. No time wasted here. Great. Next we have the curtsy lunge and halo. Start with the right side. Curtsy lunge. Up. Halo and curtsy lunge to the left. Yes. Keep going. Ready for the split squat and press up. Okay, right leg to the front, left leg to the back. Split squat and press. Split squat. If you have a lighter kettlebell, you can use that one also. I'm gonna go with this heavier one on this second round. I might regret this soon, that's okay. We are here to work out. Let's go all in. Come on. We are soon done. Ten seconds. And last one. Yes. Awesome. Other side, kettlebell to the right, right leg to the back, let's go. Split squat and press. Split squat and press. Split squat and press. You can do this. Keep going. Come on. Ten seconds. We're taking control. The future is ours now. And one more squat. Yes. Okay, last exercise, sumo squat hold and circles. 
I go with the lighter kettlebell. Okay, sumo squat hold. Let's go. Stay low. Yeah, swing the kettlebell. I know it's heavy. It's our last exercise. Just push through it. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick get up workout. Let me know down below in the comments how it went and give this a thumbs up. See you in the next workout. Thank you. Bye bye.